Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Dave in 9 VFR. This YouTube video is about the Baofeng UV-17R. This guy right here. I got it just a few days ago. Um, incredibly inexpensive, so very affordable. Some of them just amazingly cheap. Various kind of prices, none of which are very high. And interestingly, um, it came in this box. And inside this box was this. And uh, of curiosity, uh, none of these two seem to mention the UV-17R, which is the version that I've got. And it's, it's the one I ordered. So here's this manual, the very back pages. You might go to the Appendix B. Uh, shortcut menu operations, and you'll find a number of of um, functions that you can use in this radio and we're going to rely on this particularly uh, four or five of them to begin with um, this is in the very back once again the the appendix b it has all the number of functions what you once you see here how to operate the functions you'll see they're very easy and we're going to get you started from a to running and operating in just a few minutes uh, I say that the way I'm showing you, the way I'm doing it here, is easier and faster <clears throat> than using the programmed, the software versions of, of programming your radio. The only limitation is that doing it manually, you cannot put a name on your program with your memory channels. Uh, it has a uh, memory channel A, B, um, and for those, you do need the software because for that you can put in a, a name. However, um, there are 999 channels that you can program into this little radio. And I'm going to suggest that's probably more than enough for most of you. It certainly is for me. So anyway, uh, I'll turn it on. Let me see less of me, more of this. Turn it on. You probably know how to do this. There's the on button. Welcome. Channel mode. I am in channel mode at the moment. You did here. Um, so the, the audio turns on up or down with the knob. Uh, that's good enough. Channel mode. So, okay. Um, what I'm going to do first, just to, so I start with where you are, um, I'm going to reset. I'm going to take this thing back to factory settings. Perhaps your radio is secondhand. You don't know what's in it. You want to also start factory settings. So I'm going to do that. Um, before we do that, we'll look here at these green button and a blue button. Some radios have different colors, but Baofeng seems to use these quite frequently. Uh, maybe not be green, but this is the green on the left, blue on the right. And um, so I'm going to tap that. Menu. It's going to get me started. It takes me to the menu. And I can back out of the menu with the blue one. And I am also in channel mode. If you look, there is a channel number right there. That tells me I'm in channel mode. Momentarily, I'm going to want to be in, there's the channel mode right up here. You see, it says it has a number, but I'm going to want to be in VFO mode. So I'm just going to press the green button, not just tap it. Tap it takes menu. me to a menu, to a function. I'll let that go off. It, it'll be there just a couple of seconds. And But I want to go to VFO. So I want to press and hold the green button press and hold. Frequency mode. Now it's in VFO. Frequency mode equals VFO. But I do want to go back to memory, to the uh, function channel. Hold it again. Channel mode. Now I'm in channel. Okay. I'm just kind of curious right there. Um, here's what I want to do. I want to do a factory reset, which is function 42. It's the very last function in the little, in the, man, the manual right here. The very last function so I'm going to wipe everything out that I've put in here. Um, tap it, Menu. and I want to go to 42. So 42, that's going to be a reset. And I want to reset uh, all. Initialization. I want to go all. So all is flashing, perhaps you see. And I'll give it a moment for you to look. Um, there it is again, VFO. I want to select it, select it by tapping. I want to do all. So there. Confirm. Uh, sure to reset? Yes, I am. I want to reset a factory. Okay. <clears throat> and 
And let's see what we've got. Uh, I want to reset. I want to reset. There it is. Confirm. Sure to reset. Okay, there it's reset. Welcome. Took me a moment. Okay. Frequency mode. And I still have a few things on there, uh, but I don't want to be in frequency mode. I don't know why it's even there. I want to go to VFO. Menu. Uh, not what I want. I don't want menu. I want VFO. What that go off? I'm in channel. Channel mode. Oh, actually, um, one thing the blue button does, it goes up and down. If you'll notice here, I am at the bottom, and I want that little red arrow. That little red arrow that's right over here, I want it to go up. So I hit the blue button, the blue button, and now it's up here. So I'm still in channel mode. I'm a little baffled by that because I reset it. So I want to go to VFO. Frequency mode. Frequency mode, VFO. And um, I am going to push in 14652. What, that, that is the two meter calling frequency. And we're going to program that into channel one. Um, it seems that um, uh, VHF, UHF radios are kind of weird about channel one. They don't want anything significant there, nothing important. So I'm just going to put 14652 into channel one, and we'll show you what's up. I'm going to tap in five, one, four, four six, six, five, two, two zero. zero. One, four, six, five, two, zero is in channel one. Oh, it's, at, it's just now in the VFO, but I do want to program it to channel one. So um, I want to go into the function, which is tapping this, and I want to push three zero. Three zero happens to be the memory channel, and I want to select the memory, memory so channel. I do that. But I don't want 999. I want one. So zero zero one is flashing. I want to tap it. Transmitting memory. Yeah, it's trans, and I want to confirm it. So it is locked in there. There's channel one in the in the memory. Um, so okay, we've got one in memory, and it's channel one uh, somehow a wasted channel. I always use one four six five two. So we're still in the VFO. I'm going to program a repeater, which for me my repeater is one four five one four five two three zero one four five two three zero is my home repeater. Um, so there are a few things before this is ready to put into memory, and but only a few things. You'll find it quite simple. The first thing is I want to put in the transmit CTCSS. My repeater requires a CTCSS. I think almost every repeater does. So I want to go into memory, and then I'm going to tap in 12. Memory. I want to go to 12. 12 CT, so I want to select that function, and then I'm going to start going to, uh, my, this is going to be 79.7. It's flashing, there it is, I want to hit it, and I want to, there it is, okay. So I've got the CTCSS programmed in. Then I've got to deal with the offset. So to do that, I'm going to go to function, Function two eight. Function twenty eight. The offset is off. I want to choose it, direction. and I want to go for a negative. It's flashing, Confirm. negative, and punch it again. And there is the negative offset. Uh, only one more thing to do, and it's ready to save. Not quite ready. One more thing to do. I want to set the offset amount. So that happens to be the next function. Menu. I'm going to go up oh, that one to 27 the other way. 20. I want to go to 29. The offset. So offset this frequency. for two meters, it is 600. I have to type in zero, 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 six, six. zero, zero. zero. That's what I want. Lock it in. Confirm. Save it. There it is. And this is ready to use as a repeater. Before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to put it 002. I'm going to do that. Menu. It's the next one. I'm a, there's 30, function 30. I want to select memory that, channel. and I want to go to 2. I want to put it into 2. Proceeding memory. And there it is. We are good to go. Channel 2. Let me make sure. Let me make sure we are good to go. I could...
N9 VFR testing. K9HAM repeater. Well, there we go. All right. So we have a repeater programmed, channel 2 saved in memory. Let's go ahead and do a 440 repeater. And I'm going to do 442.900, which is a another local ham club repeater of mine. 442. Four, four, Nine zero zero. All right. So it happens to have a different CTCSS. Let's go back, put it in there. Manual. That was number 12. Number 12. I want to select C -C -C that. But now I want to go to 123. So going, 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 punching, 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 punching. There it is. 123, select it, and lock it in. Beautiful. Um, you might notice that I've got a negative offset direction. Uh, that needs to be a positive. So we're going to go to function 28. Um, for, for repeaters, um, function 12 sets the CT, the transmit CTCSS. 28 and 29 set the offset direction and amount. And then 30 programs, whatever channel you want. So we've got the, uh, let's go to 28. I'm going to uh, tap menu, tap 28. It says I want that. And for menu this one, I want positive. Positive is flashing. Confirmed. And there it is. So let's go to the amount of the offset, which for 440, it's 5. Does, and I will show you what to do. And I'm going to go to 29 offset. I want to select that for five zeros. Zero. Oh, five zero 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 five. There we go. And there Confirm. it is. And it is ready to go. It is ready to be saved into memory. Um, I'm going to put that into channel three on mine. Manual. I want to select, oh, I got to go to three, zero, three, zero. I want to, that function, channel. and I want three. Oh, wrong other way. Channel three is where I want it. I want it there. Receiving memory. And there it is. So let's say I made a mistake. I goofed, and um, I want to delete that channel and start again. So uh, we're going to delete. Menu. Well, let's just call it channel three, except that's going to be 31. The, the delete channel is 31. I want delete channel. I want that. I want to delete three. Menu. All right. And three is still up there. Um, <clears throat> four, four, two, nine hundred. All the stuff is still there. So I'm going to save it right back. And well, let's double check things. Let's just double check. Let's go to Menu. 12. Uh, I want to again select that. It's locked in. All right. I see the positive offset, so I know that's there. Let's go Manual. to 29. The offset is 5. I want to select offset that. Frequency. Oh, i got to do it again. Zero, Halo. zero, Halo. five, Halo. zero, zero, Halo. zero. Halo. There it is again. Let's choose Confirm. it and lock it in. All right. And we're going to put it back into number three. So. Uh, tap that one. Manual. We want to go to 30. We can go up that way. We can do that. Memory channel. Uh, that's the one I want. Channel 3. Transmitting memory. And there it is. It is that simple. I say again, I say again that this is easier, faster than using the software. I found the software to be a headache. Uh, getting it to communicate with the radio was a challenge, at least it was for me. Um, so, um, you guys are ready to go. Uh, I went to all the trouble to brew this home-brewed beer. I think I'm going to have some. Uh, best of luck, guys, 73. Uh, I hope you enjoy your Baofeng UV-17R.